Hey everyone, my name is Tyler, and today we're talking about praying for miracles. You know, the definition of a miracle is a surprising and welcome event that's not explicable by natural or scientific laws and is therefore considered to be the work of a divine agency. I know the subject is exciting to hear stories or testimonies about miracles happening in the lives of people, or even reading throughout scripture of the incredible miracles performed by Jesus and his disciples. It always builds our faith to hear about it or even see it. But how many of us walk around expecting miracles in our everyday lives? You know, according to scripture, miracles should be normal in the lives of believers, especially if we take Jesus at his word. Read with me in John chapter 14, verse 12 through 14. It says this, I tell you the truth. These are the words of Jesus. I tell you the truth. Anyone who believes in me will do the same works that I have done and even greater works because I am going to be with the Father. You can ask me for anything in my name and I will do it so the Son can bring glory to the Father. Yes, ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. You know, the possibility of miracles lies within each and every one of us. Here at Hope City, you've probably heard the phrase that there's healing in our hands. And this scripture challenges us to actually believe it. Here's three thoughts to consider when you're praying for miracles. Number one is the promise of miracles. In the verses in John, Jesus makes the extraordinary promise to his disciples and to us today, that those who believe in him will not only carry out the works that he did, but also perform greater miracles. And this statement challenges us to comprehend the limitless challenge, or sorry, the limitless potential that we possess when we connect with the power of faith. Number two is this, that when we align with God's will, Jesus emphasizes that miracles are not meant to serve our own selfish desires, but to glorify the Father. By aligning our intentions with God's will, we become vessels through which His love, His compassion, and His power can flow. As we seek to bring healing, restoration, and transformation, we become active participants in God's divine plan for humanity. And number three is this, it's the role of faith. You see, faith acts as a catalyst that ignites miracles. Jesus emphasized the significance of believing in him, the son of God, the one who was sent by the father. Genuine faith grounded in trust and surrender empowers us to step beyond the confines of, our, of the natural world and embrace the supernatural. It's through faith that miracles manifest in our lives. So remember this, miracles are not simply stories of the past, they're actually living possibilities within each and every one of us. May we embrace our divine potential and become agents of God's miraculous love and power in this world. Can we pray together? Jesus, we invite you into our daily lives. Father, I pray that as we pursue a greater expectation, God, that miracles would become a normal aspect and a normal occurrence in our daily lives. Father, we expect heavenly results. God, we invite you in to invade our lives and in to invade our conversations so that the culture of heaven can live and manifest through us. God, we surrender these things to you and we believe that there's gonna be incredible fruit in the lives of people around us through you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.